Man, I need a lift like this. <laughs> Oh look, isn't that cool? You have a signature? Uh, yeah. Yep. All what four or five people there. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, National Corvette Museum. Delivery, yeah. Yeah. By the, so they did the PDI inspection. So it's four people at the PDI. That's cool. <laughs> Good. They finally learned what arrow is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, they sealed this baby up. Wow. There's nothing under here. Nope, everything. It's just like a Porsche. Porsches have uh, under trees that run the whole length of the yeah, car, GM and it's poor aerodynamics. Yeah. You want to get that air under no, the car and oh, keep it as clean see, as possible. That. You know? yeah. So that's the whole premise behind it. I mean, they still they still yeah, stuck with their backbone design. Right. This yeah, is exactly. still the same backbone that they use on just about uh, every C5, C6, C7. Oh, I saw. That was a torque tube, right? Uh, the torque tube... There's no longer a torque yeah, tube. Yeah, because it's right. in the back. But yeah, the torque tube used to be right behind the backbone. So what's over here now? What do you need so to... I don't know. Nothing. Yeah, there's probably That's all the cooling hoses just, and everything yeah, up there. Yeah, Am I leaking be... something? What is this? What is this? Yeah, see, it's coming from here. Yeah. Huh. Probably just some assembly oil on some of oh, the seals okay. and all. You know what? Cause this has all those push lock fittings for the cooling yeah. system too, and they grease those up. <laughs> wow. Oh, coilovers. That yeah. is a yeah. We were just talking about yeah. the sway bar? No, the, oh. the electric motor on the steering oh, rack. Yeah. Let's see. You see the sway bar back here? See it right up in there. What do we have there? This is the gear, the drive gear, right here on the side. Uh -huh. That's the drive gear for the uh, power steering. Really? Yeah, because it's all electronic. Huh. Yeah. Are these electronically controlled coilovers? They're magnetic. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're a lot. They're electronic, and what happens is that uh, uh, when you select a certain drive mode. It then it changes just... the dampening in the shock. Yep. I can see that. Interesting. There's there's something going on up there. There's just Oh yeah, it looks like it's coming from the rubber bushings. Yeah, or it's coming from out behind it. You know, there may be a cooler line that runs up and behind it to the front coolers. Uh-huh. Oh my god. I can't believe they actually made something easily more accessible back here. There's a crossover right here, and that crossover tube is usually on the very top, and uh -huh. it's really hard to get to, and it's really hard to get it out. Oh, fuel tank crossover? It's right here. Oh, nice. That's good. All right, I'm going to take my little walk in again. There's the other monkeys. Oh, that thing's tiny. I love it. They've all switched over to European style dampeners and uh, tensioners for everything. Yeah. Like that's a, that's straight up a BMW tensioner. What's up in that hole? Uh, Does this have a, a lift for the nose? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Cool. I think it goes up about two inches. Yeah, that's what the lower section here is. Oh, yeah, the brake, the brake calipers, they don't look that big from the outside. Huh? Yeah, they're massive on the inside. That's because they're rated right the mountains to the top now. Yeah, very nice. Bridged coil pairs. Okay, so hopefully this leak will dry up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to worry about. Yeah. Where's the back? Where's the coilovers back at? Uh, the coilovers are going to be right in here. What am I missing? Yeah, they're they're actually tucked in further up. But here's the base oh, wow. of it right here. Okay. And there's a base right up there. Yeah. So what do you think? Well, you know, not not uh, 
not too bad. I mean, it looks like they've actually taken the time to make some improvements, but this being the first shot at a mid-engine, well, their first actual mid-engine chassis, I'm interested to see what it'll do. Okay. Because before, you know, the Corvette's claim to fame was it's always been mid-engine, right? Because of how far back the engine set. Right. So, you know, now they're trying to say like, no, 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 this is actually <laughs> a mid-engine Corvette. No, we so have a, a now real... you actually have one. Pretty well put together. What do you think? I like it. It's good to have an expert's opinion. <laughs> well, it's nice to look at stuff and see, like, well, if that breaks, then you can get to it. And if that breaks, you can get to it. That's really what wonder, comes down to making a good car from uh -huh. a bad car. I wonder if they're going to beef the, uh, the control arms and stuff like yeah, that up. Yeah, they connect there. They're pretty thin. They're pretty thin. I mean, they're. Yeah, you start pushing yeah, 500 start plus pushing horsepower, that, you're going to be breaking these. You're going to definitely get yeah. some flex out of it. Well, some guys are breaking axles already, but who knows, yeah. who knows how they drive. Well, you know, you know I mean? this is the big thing too, right? So you have this massive center section, and then you have that really sharp taper down. That's probably where they're failing. The weak they're probably failing down at that taper. Oh, and, wow. Okay. You know, needless to say, guys probably aren't being too gentle on them either. Not no. that they should be. No. But, you know, that's that's uh, got a lot to do with it. Hey, you know what? This is just like the NP. These uh, these rear knuckles are interchangeable side to side. Oh, that's good. They got the mount points on both sides. 234, uh, now it says six nine and seventy, but it's got it's got everything pre-drilled for sensors and everything in different spots. Like you could almost switch them around. But oh yeah, the trailing arm is or the, the trailing arm is backwards. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, it's it's you can get centralized the wishbone. It almost makes more sense to just use like the uh, the BMW style control arms, right, like right. everybody else did. Definitely gonna want to get screens if you track it. The what? Screens for that. You're gonna want to put mesh in front of these because these you could get some big rocks through here. You know, I was I was looking that at that the other day. Track I was, they fast. Yeah, I was looking the yeah. other day. I'm like yeah, here and even. Even on the side, the side radiators. Oh yeah, yeah the side scoop. Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty oh, wow. open. That's really open. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I had a friend with a Porsche in the front. Yeah. You know that little space, a rock right in there. Boom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to end it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, dude, look at this side. Yeah, I saw this it. legitimately looks it's like great. there's there's yeah. just. There's not even a, a small mesh screen there. You sucking no, a bird there. Nothing. Anything, right? Anything coming up. Yeah, I wish I would have done something back here, though. This is just too big. Yeah, for the front. Yeah, the, I mean, the, it looks good design-wise, but they should have put some type of mesh or protectant behind it. Yeah. Something would have been nice. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. And it's nice that, you know, they kept this yeah, traditional. So, yeah, uh, you know, you don't have to put your tag in. You can actually keep the insert there. Right. You know, I wouldn't put a tag anyway. No. <laughs> uh, who made the shocks? The shocks are... Uh... MWI. Who knows? I hope they're good ones. Yeah. So how do you think working on this thing is going to be? Um, For the most part. You know, there's a lot of similarities to every other generation Corvette. Uh -huh. So, you know, as far as like front suspension goes, a lot of this is almost, it looks almost identical. Um, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I think a lot uh of what people are going to find is it's going to take you longer to take off trees and and uh, panels to get to stuff more so than it being difficult to get to. Right. You got to hold for it. Is that the engine or trans? I'm pretty sure that's the engine. Yeah, it's right under the crank. Yeah, you're right. 
wouldn't be that far. Oh, so we don't have to take any panels off. No. That's right. Yeah. You put it up on the lift? Yeah, all you got to do is, you know, even if you have ramps, you know, you back it on the ramps or you jack yeah, it up right, and put some ramps gonna... under it and you can do your oil train. Yeah, I guess it's got to be it. Yeah, where is the tranny? Tranny probably... Tranny is back here with the rear here. differential. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so the axles are attached to the rear diff and then the transmission is going to be an intermediate in between them. Yeah, use the back wow. of the case right here. All the way up against the muffler is the back of the case. Yep. Still a trimmer. Yep. yep. This is a nice touch. The yeah, fact the that they didn't color. make that silver. Yeah. Most of the time, this is silver, it's and it feel. sticks out like a sore thumb. How are the mufflers? We can't really. Yeah, the muffler is right behind here, mm -hmm. right behind that panel, and it's actually sandwiched. So it's got a heat shield on the top and the bottom. Oh wow! And their heat shielding's gotten a bit more adequate. You know, there's actually uh, some fiberglass underlay inside, so it'll it'll definitely help keep the heat down. Because I guess you know, being so close to the cabin, that's really a big concern. Yeah. Oh, nice. Great oil change, nice and easy. Oil filter, train plug. You know, if you wanted to pull the wheels and clean it, you'd oh, yeah, it, well, you'd be yeah, stuff but like that's that. about it. Yeah, Everything. Everything else, and you know, it's going to be different because even in the uh, the Porsches and uh, things of that sort, when you have the engine facing forward like this, you know, doing any of the front accessories on it are a bit of a challenge. Uh, Porsche has an access panel behind the seats that uh -huh. you pull off and you can get right to the front right of the through. engine But you know, I'd be interested to see how they address that here I would imagine the same thing. I would imagine there's an access panel somewhere up here that comes off behind the seat Right that gives you some access. I mean there is a lot of paneling to come off so you're gonna have you know a, a decent amount of room. Oh, that's right. So we're actually sitting We're sitting pretty much here right yep and the front of your crankshaft is right here this is the front of the crank right here so this is the this is the front of the motor wow okay yeah the only thing that i can say that i i thought that they may have done a little bit better with is uh cooler protection um, you know, they had problems with not having enough cooling to now right. not protecting it enough, which I think they're going to find that's going to be a bit of an issue. Um, and, you know, for those guys who do park their stuff outside, you uh -huh. know, there's really no deterrent to keep any varmints or anything like that out of <laughs> this area. It's yeah. true. <laughs> Something can crawl right up in there and wreak havoc. Especially down here, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So far, all I've had is spider nests, and I think I'm just trying to get it, try to get in in the other car. Oh no, that's a huge caliper, and that's a pretty big disc. And the back should have a big one because of the weight. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And of course, that black one, everybody. That's your uh, parking brake. That's your parking brake or whatever emergency brake. Which they could have done with a smaller caliper. Yeah. But some, you know, it's funny when I was out in Florida and the salesman was like, look, there's an extra set of brakes. And I'm like, that's the parking brake. No, it's another brake. No, it's a parking brake. Come on. At least know the products you're selling. Yeah. I finally had to show them. I said, what's that?